Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our pull strength again. Straight away I am going to start with the greatest stretch for 5 repetitions on each side as usual. The everyday protocol before we start our workout. If your legs are sore and you have immense amount of tightness in your legs, I totally understand. I am also at the same spot thanks to the 6 sets of leg press which I have think I have done a little bit. Over, I have overdone a little bit but that's absolutely fine I was just trying to figure out the right stance and all that effort at least got me the result I was looking for a lot of glute activation a lot of inner thigh activation and my legs were totally sore so if you are feeling the same make sure you massage them stretch them properly spend those extra few minutes on static stretching and foam rolling to release the tension if the soreness is way beyond what you can you know be comfortable with and next we move into our deep squat the mandatory deep squat make sure your hamstrings are a stretch before bending your knees and then straight away go into the deep squat only here when i was squatting absolutely deep is when i was feeling the extreme amount of tightness in my inner thighs thanks to that amazing last leg day we had now i'm straight away going to start with warm up for my first exercise today we are going to do bent over rows and pretty simple exercise the way i start it is basically take the bar into my hands first get into the top position now you can use a rack setup to make sure it is easy to take the bar up i am taking it off the floor it's not necessary always to take it off the floor now in this particular setup or the exercise the first cue is to do an RDL. Just perform an RDL. We all know how to do the RDL. Just take the bar up, stick it into your body and slowly start leaning down. And by hinging, basically pushing your glutes as far behind as possible. And once the bar is just above or just in front of your knees, from there, row. Pull the bar to your chest. I am using overhand grip. I don't like to use the underarm grip because that activates my bicep a lot more in this exercise. I want to focus on my lats. So I row with an overarm grip. You can use straps and gloves to you know, make sure your grip strength doesn't compromise the number of repetitions you can get. I have done 5 sets of it with 8 to 10 repetitions. Now when you are doing with a weight, it might be a little bit difficult to take it off the floor. So you can use the deadlift stance lift it off like a deadlift and then slowly perform an rdl basically let the weight go down on your body on on your legs and once it, it is in front of your shins start pulling it towards your chest the other way the last set which i have done is basically pulling it off the floor directly and performing a deadlift and a bent over row mix up wherein the weight always touches the floor and you pull it directly from the floor. This might be a little bit more challenging because it puts a lot of stress on your glutes and hamstrings and if they are not strong enough, the load might shift onto your lower back. So do it at ease. If for any reason you feel uncomfortable, you can always use the chest supported rows with dumbbells and that's absolutely fine. You will get the same amount of results. Post doing the chest supported row or the bent over barbell row i moved on to do the close grip pull-ups as many repetitions as possible for one set i was able to get about eight repetitions then i have took a rest pause and tried to get another three to four repetitions just to activate that close the upper the mid back and the upper back a lot more before i move on to my next exercise For my next exercise, this is a new variation which I chose to do is a single hand, in my routine at least, a single hand lat pull down. Basically, you knee down in front of a cable machine and with one arm, pull the cable all the way back, basically elbows to your hips. So bring the elbows towards your hip. Focus on not completely contracting or, you know, oh, flexing your bicep. Make sure that the bend in your elbow is just sufficient enough for you to push it as far behind as possible. This would avoid any overactivation of your bicep and put all the stress on your lower back. A little bit of twist once 
your elbow is at your hip level gets a little bit more squeeze into your lats make sure the cable is always under tension even at the highest point the cable should be under tension never let the weight rest down throughout the repetitions i have done four sets of this 12 repetitions each hand as you can see how i try to stretch it out all the way up and then squeeze it down all the way keeping your elbows as close to your hips as possible and pushing them as far behind as possible will get you the best amount of results just get just knee down in a comfortable manner you can use a yoga mat or a cushion under your knee if you uncomfortable but otherwise it's a pretty easy exercise to perform the rowing make sure it is explosive get those lats involved as much as possible keep that elbow as close to your hips as possible to create that squeeze you need not take rest in between switching switching in between your hands you just need to take 45 seconds of rest while switching from one set to the other that's because while you're performing with one hand your other hand is absolutely at rest so you need not take much of a break in between the sets also this particular exercise focuses on getting that lat contraction as much as possible and tries to build the thickness which you require for your lats to start looking more prominent from behind and also allows your lat to stretch out as far ahead as possible as you can see here with every repetition how my lat stretches out completely and then as i contract it creates a great amount of contraction you can also progress this exercise by holding the contraction for a couple of seconds if your biceps get activated don't worry this particular motion the pulling motion will activate your bicep just try to focus on your lat action as much as possible and try to keep your elbows square basically at a 90 degrees when they are at your hips so that would reduce a little bit of bicep activation post doing this particular exercise on the cable setup i moved on to my donkey car sorry I I just happen to like donkey calf raises a lot but yes this time I did the standing calf raises while holding a dumbbell I chose to hold on to a dumbbell which is about I think 20 25 kilos and then perform the standing calf raises the time in between reps is still the same I'm using the same technique of holding for 4 seconds every repetition basically at the contraction point hold for 4 seconds at the heels down the stretch point hold for 4 seconds make sure your knees stay locked out the weight will be challenging so use straps and or gloves to make sure your grip strength doesn't compromise your repetitions you might also feel a lot of demand on your lower back and your abdominal region because the weight is constantly pulling you from the one side and you have to make sure you stand straight so that would also create a challenge but try to focus as much as possible on your calf raises if you have a standing calf raise machine that's awesome i'm happy for you use that but otherwise you can do it even on a smith machine now for my next exercise i am going to do the the classic and the best alternative dumbbell curls making sure every curl gets the maximum amount of contraction on my bicep now i have done four sets of these with 12 repetitions each hand 60 seconds break in between i stuck to a single weight because that was challenging enough for me after all that pulling motion my biceps were pretty worked up so just one weight one exercise give it all you got contract your biceps as much as possible make sure that every contraction is the tightest one and also when once you're letting down the dumbbell go up like completely straight the eccentric movement go through the full range of motion let the dumbbells come absolutely beside your body feel the stretch in your bicep the more you try to get the contractions i also do uh, do bring my elbows a little bit forward to get more activation of my bicep here you can see i open my arms a little bit to get those biceps more involved and forearms a little bit less involved 
so you can do this particular angle also or you can keep them absolutely straight that's fine too the most important part is to make sure the weight is challenging so if if you want to progressively overload basically start with less weight and then load with every set that's absolutely fine if you also want to drop do a perform something like a drop set and that is also absolutely fine or like me you can stick to a same weight choose a challenging weight and try to get all the 4 into 12 repetitions from that single weight itself the important part is to make sure you feel like your biceps can no longer make your arms curl they should be full of blood and completely done with all the contractions don't swing back much a little bit of swinging is fine in terms of sideways swing like i am doing right here but don't swing back if you are swinging back the weight is too much you are unable to curl it so just drop down the weight and use a weight wherein you can have absolute control over it by control i mean as you lower it down you should be able to control the weight don't let the momentum take away the action of eccentric and that's it for our exercises i'm straight away going to do the static stretches for my lat and my for my bicep the same old stretches simply hold on to a support and then lean onto one side at a time creating a stretch for our lats keeping your arms straight holding for 20 seconds is vital for static stretches you might you may also do two sets of it i just done one set and i felt a good amount of stretch in my entire back for biceps also it's a similar stretch which we have been doing regularly just hold on to the bar and turn your shoulders chest away basically from your bicep and feel the stretch thank you so much for joining me if you did like the video please do drop a like if you haven't subscribed to the channel subscribe to it lot of positive feedback for me and i will see you in the next video i wish you a good day see you